I am fed up. It's Friday. It's been a whole week. I'm thinking, it's not fun. I want to feel well. I want to be healed. <laughs> Hey, but you tough for people. Hey guys, what is up? I'm G Lizasha and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, let's talk about where you've been. I'm just kidding. Consider subscribing. Press the subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video up. So really quick before I get into today's video, I just want to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I have noticed the numbers going up. So I am so grateful to all those that keep coming back. Y'all are loyal. So let us get right into today's video. So this video is going to be in three parts. First, I'm going to tell you how I got the stomach ache. Second, I'm going to tell you all that I tried. And third, I'm going to share with you guys what finally worked. Okay. I got the stomach ache because I ate uh, an entire packet of biscuits. I love them, you guys. Don't be judging me, okay? Be nice. So I finished up an entire packet of biscuits in one night. Then also, I had to eat my evening food because my mama don't like people that be wasting food. She like, no, don't nobody be wasting food in my house. And my stomach, <laughs> it did not go down well this happened on a sunday evening and the whole of monday starting from the morning i was having a running stomach it was bad so the second part of what i then tried the first thing that i tried which is a little bit too obvious was sugar and salt solution and i drank sugar and salt solution on monday at around 4 p.m the only benefit that I got from this was that I gained, I regained my energy back, but it did not stop the running stomach. It was still running, okay? It was still painful. It was still hurting. On Tuesday, I bought pills, loperamides. They are said to really stop a running stomach. And I took them Tuesday evening. My mama told me to take two because she says to, for them to sort of work faster i think i don't know but that was not a good idea when is that you guys it's like as if they worked but they turned my running stomach into a bloated stomach so i was now having a bloated stomach like i was just eating but nothing was coming out i on thursday was when i tried my third thing my mom's friend who's a doctor told us that if she's having a bloated stomach she should drink milk i bought like this one entire liter and I was supposed to finish it all. But I got a little sister, you guys. She also loves milk. So I got, she drank some of it. But I drank most of it. Thursday evening, I drank the milk. Nothing changed. I literally just felt like I'm piling stuff in my stomach. And nothing is happening. I was literally almost scared at this point, you guys. Like, what if my stomach blows, you know? I think the milk then worked overnight. And then Friday morning, I remember I woke up and I went to the toilet. So everything was now coming out again. The afternoon, I just felt like I'm back to where I started because it was back to a running stomach. I'm like, <sighs> at this point, I'm just sick. I am fed up. It's Friday. It's been a whole week. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what is going to happen to me? You know, I have the energy. But it's a running stomach. I need to stop the running stomach because it's, it's not fun. I want to feel well. I want to be healed. I prayed. I got down on my knees. Fried. I'm like, God, please. Please. <laughs> now the last part of what finally worked. Ginger itself. I then bought ginger. But I was scared to eat it because everybody who anybody who knows you just knows good to eat does not taste good. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna take it, you know, mm, I'm gonna take it. To some extent, I I was really thinking it was it was not gonna work, you know. And then I took it Saturday morning. My stomach was, it was like, back to normal. I have my energy and I'm, I mean it's fine. Everything was okay. I'm like, whoa, okay, this thing magic, you guys. But then in the afternoon, the stomach ache sort of came back a little bit. It was like, how do I explain this to y'all? Like this funny feeling just came back, but it was slight. It was not as intense as it was before I ate the ginger. So I was like, hmm. So I took it again in the evening. And then Monday morning, 
I woke up and my stomach was completely good. Mama Pora, I was like, okay, you guys, this ginger. But, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> eating ginger is not an easy thing because if I'm to describe the taste, it's sour, it's hot at the same time, like my mouth, my ears, and my throat, they were all burning at the same time. I was like, you guys, give me water. I need water. It was hot. You guys, I could literally feel the connection between my ears. You guys, like, I don't even know if that's possible, but I, I could literally feel the connection between my two. It was burning. It was burning. But the good thing is, goody, it only takes, like, what, three, four minutes? And then, and then, and then, and then it's good. To anybody that has a running stomach or a stomach that's just feeling funny for no reason, I would recommend for you to take ginger. It Don't opt for the ginger biscuits or the ginger juice or what, what, what. Go for the ginger itself. As a matter of fact, I still got some here. And th this is what I'm talking about, you guys. This thing, hmm, works like magic. My mom recommends me to take this each and every morning. I... But since I don't have a stomach ache anymore, I just take a little bit. I just take maybe kakango daiso, maybe just this part alone. Just so to cleanse my stomach, keep it in a good state. But I will be honest, I'm not really taking it every every day. I'm not like skipping a day or two, but you know, it counts. When you are not feeling well, I would recommend you are supposed to take a bigger chunk. Because the more the juice, the more active it is because you need more of the juice for it to be actually active in your stomach please do not take this whole big thing your your stomach gonna be on fire you guys anyways guys that is it for this video if you did like it make sure to give it a thumbs up press the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to watch my other videos on this channel and i will catch you on my next one bye